Let's talk about absentee ballots. There are multiple ways to vote absentee and some specific rules that you'll need to pay attention to. You may send in a paper application, go into an office and apply at a counter, or apply online. If you apply for and pick up your ballot in person, you can fill it out on-site and turn it in right away. Voting at the counter is a great way to make sure that everything gets done correctly, that you get it witnessed, and that it gets into somebody's hands. If you instead opt to receive your ballot via the mail and plan to return your ballot by hand, you must turn it in by 8 p.m. on election day in order for it to be counted. Ballots may not be accepted after that time according to the state law. Once you return your absentee ballot, we keep it under lock and key until the party balanced absentee ballot board has a chance to look at it. They take a look at the envelope, make sure it's been completed correctly, and then they go into the voter registration system and make sure the numbers that the voter put on their signature envelope match the ones that they also put on their application. That's how we make sure that the person who applied for the ballot is the one who got it and is the one who returned it. If the numbers match, the ballot is accepted and set aside for counting. If both the numbers and signatures do not match, the ballot will be rejected. You can check the status of your ballot on mnvotes.gov. If it is rejected, we will automatically, as part of the process, send you a replacement absentee ballot. For those who want to place their absentee ballot directly into a ballot counter, early voting is available 18 days prior to election day at specific city and county sites. You may go into a voting booth, fill out your ballot, and then place it in the ballot counter when you are done. On election day, we tally and combine absentee totals with those cast at polling places. We also constantly update our records to keep track of who has cast an absentee ballot to ensure no one can vote more than once. Those records are automatically shared with election judges at the polling places. 